help. When somebody says COPD emphysema, it's, um, well, that's what emphysema is. Hi everyone, Dr. Naveed Shah here. And before we get into the video, I want to tell you about this video's sponsor, the Delta V. Delta V is the all-in-one lung training solution with adjustable airflow. Whether you're recuperating from a respiratory ailment, rehabbing your lungs, eager to boost your lung capacity, or dedicated to cultivating optimal lung health, Delta V stands ready to accompany you every step of the way. Visit our website, deltav.rehab, or call us at 410-871-4601 to order your Delta V today. Now let's get into it. Emphysema is COPD. Let's look at bronchiectasis. That's also COPD. You know, but when you, when people talk about COPD, they tend to specifically talk, uh, speak about the chronic uh, uh, chronic congestion and the emphysema. You know, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. But it's an umbrella term. COPD is an umbrella term. That accounts for five lung diseases. Just like heart disease has is an umbrella term that that means a lot of other diseases in them with that more than five. You know, so let's take the five COPDs. Chronic bronchitis, emphysema, cystic fibrosis, bronchiectasis. What's that last one? Asthma. Okay. It's not the beginning start of asthma. It's the later descent of asthma. Asthma. Okay. When it gets really, really bad and it's hard and it starts to form an obstruction. Uh, but yes, those are the five types of COPDs. So what can we do? Let's take that specific emphysema. What's the problem with emphysema? We can't just say, well, it sucks. You know, because you can't breathe, you can't suck in air. <laughs> no, no, no. What's the problem with the emphysema is there's the destruction of the alveoli, right? Can we repair that? It'll take some time, but the lungs do repair. For those that don't know, lungs repair or else you wouldn't have scarring. Okay. Well, let's take a really diseased lung and the person, let's say, was smoking from the cause of it. Okay. A really diseased, diseased lung. You know, it's not working very well. The fraction of inspired oxygen, uh, or rather the FEV, forced expiratory volume in one second. Let's say uh, the predicted amount was 30%. So very severe, right? 30% FEV1, let's say. Okay. So what's the problem? How do I fix it? Well, I can't fix those diseased lungs. It'll take, if I stop, if that person stops smoking and start exercising, Usually it takes around six to seven years for the lungs to kind of repair itself and fix itself. Okay, for those that didn't know that existed, that does exist, that's always existed, all right? And if you didn't know about this, you do now. This is not a theory, this is a proven fact. Okay, this is a proven fact, whether we like it or not, that's a fact. Lungs do repair, okay? If anybody told you anything different, just tell them to get the money back from school they went to because they're, they're not studying. Okay, they're not studying. A long time ago, let's say uh, uh, 1920. Let's say 1920. How good was pulmonary rehab? Didn't really exist. Not really. Didn't really exist. You know, medicine has climbed. You know, the, the, especially after COVID, is, uh, the it's spike in technology has climbed quite dramatically, you know, drastically. So how do we fix the problem? Well, the way that we fix it is we increase the lung volumes, increasing the surface area in the lungs. So if the damaged part is on the top, we're going to try to get that person to breathe a little bit deeper, utilizing the midsection of the lungs and the bottom section as the primary source of breathing, the depth. Because if the damage is found on the top, which most emphysema is. So on the top parts, you see these big holes. That's emphysema. Okay. So I'm covering with my hand the bottom part versus the top. Okay. The top part right here where this fesia is right there. This fesia, this line. This is the apex of the lung. Basal areas of the lung, the bottom parts. And the medial sexual. Okay. So right here you see what? these big holes. How come I don't see them down here? Because that's not where usually the exposure is. So I'm finding that the top are more damaged than the bottoms. That's very common with emphysema. So if we can get that person to stop breathing that shallow to only utilize the top damaged lungs, if they can breathe in a little bit deeper, 
trying to utilize some of the good areas in your lungs that are not as damaged, you get more oxygen to come in, more CO2 to come out. So that person has to learn how to breathe dominantly a little bit deeper and utilize that and the body just takes over and does it for you. Meaning when you start breathing in a little bit deeper, your body tends to form a new habit of breathing in deeper than shallow. Does that make sense, everybody? I don't, I don't want to be confusing, but uh, I hope that makes sense.